Hi everyone, this is the basic or basic uh, scientific calculator model 3003. It has uh, a few features. It has uh, the degree radians and uh, gradient uh, selector, two functions, mm -hmm. meaning it has like some menus, hyperbolic, uh, keys, degrees, minutes, and seconds, natural logarithms, trigonometric functions, uh, flip cover, 10 plus 2 digit displays, on, off, and clear, a display format, common logarithms. Um, this calculator you can get in some 99 cent stores. It used to cost 99 cents, but now it costs 4 where I got it. Okay, let's open it. Basically, this would be a great calculator, probably for algebra or something. Um, it uh, looks like it has some instructions here. That's nice. It give you an idea of what it can do. Calculator is really, really light. Um, closes. There we go. Very, very light. Uh, you could probably take off the screws and then uh, get a new battery if you need it. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what we've got. Seems like it's turned on. We can turn it off, we can turn it on. Let's see if we can do some basic functions on it. It looks like you could do statistics on it. And let me see if I can find my pen or a pen. So, it looks like we can do statistics. We got the um, uh, X bar and sigma population standard deviation, standard deviation, some data. I'm not sure what CD might mean. N, the s it looks like the sum of X, sum of X squared. Okay, that's nice. Um, this is not an algebraic calculator, I don't think. 36 times 9 equals, gives you an answer. And then uh, you could, I guess, divide by 8. Um, definitely, we'll have to read the instructions on how to use it. Uh, it has pi, I guess second, here's pi, and then you can divide by 9, let's say. Um, it has, uh, let's see, things that I can recognize, 10 to the x and the log, natural log, e to the x, the, here it looks like the nth root, or nth square root, uh, y to the x, not x to the y, hmm, square root, third root, 1 over x, uh, x squared, like 9 squared. That's nice. Uh, and then the hypo, hypo, uh, what do they call those? The hyperbolic, right? Uh, and then you got sine, cosine, tangent, the arc signs. Um, n factorial, that's nice. So if you go 9 and then shift, this button gives you n factorial, hmm, and then you got binary, then octa, hexa, and degrees, which right now we're in degrees. Random number, that's nice. Uh, let's see, second, gives you a random number between zero and one. You got percent. Um, I did say probably not for statistics, but maybe basic, basic statistics, maybe like uh, finite math or something. Won't do, it doesn't do regression. I don't see that because you need two variables for that. It says it turns off automatically. Um, I like the 1 over x because you can put 8 and then second. And it gives you 1 divided by 8. You got a and b, which is really interesting. Um, maybe, let me see. I don't see anything that says that it does regression. No. 
These buttons don't have second buttons. These do. Um, it doesn't do fractions per se, like three divided by four, where you can see the fraction, right? It's, again, it's not algebraic or math print or something to that effect. Um, if you want to compare it to, let's say, the TI-84, there's the comparison, right? Kind of big. Um, let's see if I have any other calculators laying around. This one is the Casio one that I got at Walgreens. Let's see if I can slip it in here. Yeah, this one's the this one's the Walgreens one. The uh, FX 300 ES, much more functions. Uh, let's see. The one I got from um, uh, from Amazon is this one. All right, this one's the uh, Katiga or Katiga CS one twenty one, and what I'm looking for, uh huh, this one. <laughs> I know this is for. The basic or basic. This one is the TI-30X Pro, which they don't sell in the U.S., but um, but it is a very very well uh, known calculator. And I'm looking for one more calculator, which I don't know if I have it here with me. Maybe, maybe not. There it is. This one, of course, is the best, the best one you can probably get for the price, which is this one, the TI 36X Pro. This is the TI 30X Pro. This one I think has more features. This one's sold um, in Europe. <clears throat> this one's sold here in the States. <clears throat> costs twenty dollars. Costs four. Costs over a hundred. Costs about forty. This one's about thirty-six, and that one. I think was uh, less than 10 but this one you can do a lot of features like this one but this one's graphing this one's not but you can see the size of the calculator some of the functions right like this one can do if you turn it on this one you can do um, fractions right because it, it has a certain uh, ability to print a certain way um, Depending on your teacher, which one they tell you to buy, that's the one that you get. Um, but this one, if you want something inexpensive, you want to start doing some statistical analysis, it does have, it does look like it does have it, look X bar, as you can see right there. Okay, so this video is about this guy here, of course, right? Um, and like I mentioned before, it's, the buttons are really nice and re really easy to use. Um, and then you can do statistics, like I said. Um, I'll probably do a little video, a beginner's guide for this, so that you know how to use it. But some of the functions are pretty straightforward. Okay, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. If Show it to your friends if you like it. Show it to your teacher. And there's other, there's other videos. Um, for example, the TI-36X Pro and the 30X, and I'm doing the other videos as well for the other calculators. And there's a lot of statistics and algebraic type videos. Check them out, and I hope you have a great semester. Bye-bye.